What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be jumping on a couple of things. One of which is the forklift project, which has kind of just been sitting here unfinished. And honestly, I mean, we don't even have the seat on the dang thing. And I just noticed a couple dry spots in the paint right there. But yesterday I decided I couldn't stand the giant gouges that were in the seat base right here. So I ended up redoing this, bondoing it, repainting it. Kind of in a rush and an emergency because we got something really cool that's gonna be happening to the forklift today. Another vehicle that I own is gonna be getting some special treatment. So you guys will see that in a little bit. But a lot of you guys mentioned with this thing, since we're making it like super cool, low ridery with the purple flake paint job that we put on this thing, that it needs some pinstriping. And I totally agree. That was kind of in our original plan was to get this thing pinstriped. So we've got the homie Malix coming, who should be here any second. He's the, well, actually, He's right there, look at that, perfect timing. Um, he's actually the one that pinstriped the little work forts on my gray OBS. What up, dude? What's up, man, how are you? Good, good to see you again. Oh. Everybody, Malix, Malix, everybody. What's up, guys? Um, last time we met, I shoved a camera in your face as well. I know. So, <laughs> welcome. Um, so we got this forklift, and I've also got a fire truck that I'd love you to do, like. I'm open to ideas, but I think we need to make this thing, like, super cool. Oh, man, super smooth. Nice. Obviously, you know, we gotta we gotta make the Toyota pop, but I don't I like I kinda want it like like great I think it'd look cool if it just kinda blends, but then like lets you do your like I don't know. This is your world, not mine. So whatever you think you could do to make this thing cool. I brought leaf with me. Like silver you got silver? Yeah, silver. Silver leaf will be rad. And just turn it. Does it need to be cleared over? I can brush clear on it. I okay. That, too. that might be rad then yeah, I like that. And then if we can do like a some type of filigree right there yeah. or something um and then i'm thinking like work for it right here or make like a little like a little shop something, logo or something yeah. something cool kind of whatever you think like feel free to just do it do it yeah okay. uh, you know i trust what, your artistic what goes here, just a step or yeah so i actually have all that it's i don't know if this is the right side okay. but it's okay. one of these we so just fill that up with some striping or something we, we could, could yeah so i could throw all these on um It'll take me probably 10 minutes. Now, while Malik's getting set up, we're gonna start putting the forklift back together. All of these body panels that have been sitting over here for absolutely ever. Um, can't wait to see it on there. I actually put one on last night, which is that booger right there. Looks good, matches perfectly. I was worried about it. We'll get our super expensive side panels put on here. Be very careful to not scratch anything as we drop stuff. Now on the other side, I had to like shim some stuff to get the body lines to line up. Looks like this side's gonna work a lot better. And then obviously we have the little rubber caps that go over. I painted those in the same gray. That way everything just kind of blends in instead of the bright orange that they come in. Now the fun part is remembering how exactly this went back together, or I guess the order. That's probably the other side here. This booger, I believe, goes just like that. Now I don't remember if this piece goes in first or after. I should probably peel the tape as well. Oh, it looks like we got a leaky cylinder. Just a small leak. Oh, it's gonna look so sick. All right, silver leaf going down. Hey man, how, how much money are we just throwing away right there? No. <laughs> so Malik's is gonna end up turning it, right? Yes. Your little, your little tool. Yeah. Are we doing silver leaf down the sides too? Just a little bit. Yeah, dude. It's gonna be sick. So sick. Never seen this in person. Ah! 
Dude, that looks so sick. I love how like everything on this catches the light differently. Yeah, totally. The flake catches the light. Now you're gonna see the, the silver leaf. And I'm like, not the biggest silver guy. Big gray guy, not the biggest silver guy, but now that you turned it, it looks so it's sick. Way different. Yeah. Right. Sides are turning out sick. All right, y'all, so while Malik is busy with the forklift, we're gonna run and we're gonna grab the fire truck. And I know this thing hasn't been on video in quite some time, but we're gonna bring the fire truck over to the warehouse today and we're actually gonna have Malik's pinstripe believe something along the lines of work for a fire department like we're gonna make this look pretty sick so uh, let's go grab that thing that thing hasn't been moved in a minute all righty y'all the old fire truck probably my most random but one of my most favorite purchases um the only thing with this um clearly this side the lettering has seen better days but you can see where they like scraped off some of the old lettering it actually might not be as scratched up as i thought that might just be what they left um, that that end right there is pretty scratched though. That thing's like dug in. So Malik's, I'm sure, will figure out something. Whether we put a banner behind it uh, to hide the scratches, I don't really know yet. Um, but let's get this thing fired up. We'll grab our wheel chuck here. Now, while this truck does sit, she does get started and is allowed to run um, once a week here. So should fire up no problem. Don't know where that came from. Oh yeah. So we'll let her get warmed up. We'll build up our air pressure for our front and rear air brakes. All right, so we're good. We got plenty of air pressure. Our pressure gauges are right there. All right, we just bled out the front one there. Hold on. Might as well get the compressors to kick back on and let that bad boy build back up. We don't have a whole lot of fuel. We should probably, uh, I don't even know where you fill this thing up. I should probably find that too. All righty, y'all. Get this old girl backed up. Probably put our seatbelt on for safety here, you know. These lap belts do a whole lot. So this is only the second time I've had this thing on the freeway. And she is definitely not meant for highway driving. Tops out at 55. And that's like screaming louder than I would like it to scream. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around. God, these things are bouncy. Even with the air ride seat. It's probably making it work. Now we get on it, but we're merging. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Woo! Hey, slow down. Oh, this thing is no fun to steer. All righty, we made it. No issues, shut her down. All right, y'all, we made it back to the warehouse, got the fire truck, Malik's is cranking away over here. Look how sick that looks. It's like the perfect color of blue teal. Don't really know what we call it, but it, I like it. I like it a lot. It's like the exact blue that's in the flake right yeah. there. Yeah, that is sick. Do you hand mix a lot of your colors or you just kind of pulled one that you that had? That one, I was lucky enough that it, you know, it, it kind of goes with the flake. Gotcha. Uh, but I do mix a lot of stuff. Yeah, actually, I remember. I remember when you did the gray on my truck. Yeah. We kind of mixed it like 20 times to get like that <laughs> perfect, right. just yeah. enough gray. Meanwhile, we got Zach over here. Zach is uh, trying to show, you know, his artistic abilities too. We're going to pinstripe these bad boys? Yeah, why not? Dude, these are beefy U bolts. That's three quarters? Huh? Nice. Oh, it's metric. Oh, metric? 400 millimeters? Is that closer? Okay. I'm American, Zach. Got me a fire truck for America. I kind of think it'd be cool if we leave the groove alone. Okay, yeah, I'm with yeah. it. I just and want to make just, sure. Yeah, you I just hit that, just like, the oh, edge. That's not what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, try it. We could always fill the groove in, I guess. Yeah. But no, I think it looks sick if we just leave the groove okay, alone. Good. Right? So, Malik's nailed it over here on this blue. Now we're mixing up and trying to figure out what we're going to do to outline the letters in. We're going to go with a gray. We brought us a little sample right there. That's almost like spot on the truck gray. <laughs> yeah. Almost. So. It's really close to the leaf. It's still, it'll stand out a little bit, but we're gonna darken it up here and see if we can really make it so the outline stands out. And the little black there. See if we can darken that gray up. I like your size of toolbox. That's just my leaf stuff. Oh, geez. I got, I got one just for color, 
and then another one is color and brushes and just miscellaneous shit. Gotcha. I gotta, I gotta be able to take my whole shot with me. Right. Things are a little darker. It's gonna dry just a tad bit darker, but. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe a little darker. Huh? Yeah. Two more popsicle sticks of black. I know. I've been putting like a ton in too. The science right here, guys. <laughs> Gotta know how long to let it drip off the popsicle stick. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't record this. There's a secret sauce right here. Nah. They're not. They're gonna steal our color. That, that, that <laughs> made me. <laughs> that blue is sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, I see it darker now. Yeah, right? I think that's it. Let's roll with that. Otherwise, we're gonna be black by the time well, we keep I know. black in. <laughs> Alrighty y'all, so don't hate me today. I've been having camera issues on camera issues and my main camera just decided it don't wanna work anymore. I don't know how many cameras I bought in the last couple of years, but it hurts every time you gotta buy a new dang camera. Malik's over here getting uh, the fire truck dialed in, working on the work for it logo. So there's no computers, there's no nothing here. This is all hand drawn. And this is why you need an eraser. <laughs> For sure. I can only imagine like you get to the end and realize you don't have enough space. Like how many times that has to happen? All the time. So, yeah, yeah, that's gotta be miserable. That looks sick though, I like that font. Well, it's not even a font, it's hand drawn. This is Malik's font. It's gonna look sick. So Malik's gonna try and doctor up the original fire department that's here. He says that's actual gold, right? Yes, yeah. They used uh, actual gold. I think it's like uh, 23 karat, 24 karat. Nice. Um, that's probably why it lasts so long. And yeah. it's just actually the clear is what deteriorated first and then it took it with it took it with it gotcha yeah i mean it held up pretty good i gotta say we should be collecting this Ooh, that's gonna look so sick the wind doesn't keep messing with you here i know <laughs> so i noticed you put what chalk on there and then what you just retrace it, and it mm -hmm. okay i've also seen you use what is that like an electrode and like dude that's a trip when that's, i see you do that that's when i have like I can plan it. I know the dimensions. I know. Gotcha. Print it out, design it. You know, go back and forth. Oh, I don't like that. Which, you know. Yeah. Uh, but this is pretty simple. You know, we're just gonna copy this. You know, it's not rocket surgery. I mean, dude, like even the T, like you can tell you nailed the like. Yeah, just trying to you know get it. Yeah, it's perfect. Close, you know? I like it. Now, meanwhile, Zach's over here having some fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the best part of the job right here inventorying hardware. You guys may remember this truck in the past. Uh, Zach has done some work on it previously. This is our buddy Jesse's truck. His trucks are always flawless, always immaculate, and just always done super clean. So clearly everything on this truck's already been done clean. I mean, the color matching, the headlights. Like I said, I know this truck's been on the channel before. Um, and Jesse's been kind of holding off for a little while because he's been waiting for his Cognito ginormous, what are we going, 12 inch? Yep. Yeah. He's got a Cognito 12 inch kit, which is, I mean, it's in a bunch of these boxes, but the bulk of it's right there. Got his Deaver Springs right here. And then his beautiful powder-coated American Forces here, which they're currently protecting each other right there, but these wheels look super sick. Again, in true Jesse fashion, everything's super clean. So, you know, black, black goes with everything. Can't wait to see this monster roll out of here. Uh, a lot of work in there. And Jesse's like anal about everything, so. Zach's been pulling everything off and repainting all the crap from GM that ends up flaking, rusting, looking like crap very quickly on these trucks. I mean, you can already see, like, things don't take long to rust out on brand new trucks. Zach spent like the last two days of prepping and painting everything. Jesse loves his trucks immaculate and this thing's gonna be all nice and immaculate. And if you guys out there looking to have work done to your truck, Zach is the man and his schedule fills up quick, but we got room. Shoot me an email, dmaxrhinohotmail.com or hit him up on Instagram, slim underscore built. Well, let's get you scheduled up. Get some work done. Make your truck beautiful. Yo, there's a lot of instructions here. Just making sure you're doing this right. There's not that much to it. I don't know why they, they're, they're, it's double sided too. I'm like, there's not. Yeah, this is a lot of. Jeez, how many pages we got here? At least they're all numbered. We got 43 pages. Jeez. Oh, okay. Zach, we're going to make it go bigger there. Okay? Uh, yeah, that's we're lifting it. God. Yeah. You're going to need another one of those brackets, Zach. I see two here. Oh. Yeah. Such a trip how well that just transferred all of his chalk markings on there. So you guys can see that's kind of where all the scratches were on the end. But by the time he like colors this all in, you, show, oh, you hopefully shouldn't be able to see much of that. I'm surprised it doesn't get freaking chalk all over the thing. It does if, if 
<laughs> if you suck at it. <laughs> I don't want to say. Yeah. <laughs> Such a trip how that works. <laughs> and you don't put nothing on here. Nothing. That's crazy how that yeah. just transfers chalk like that. Yeah. I like it. You do tattoos too? No. <laughs> no this is if I mess up, I can wipe it. There you go. So you guys can probably see the sun is starting to set behind us here. So we've got Malik set up with the Milwaukee Tower light. Hopefully we've got enough daylight to get most of that knocked out. It's also my birthday today, not by the time this video goes live. So thank you to everybody that already wished me happy birthday. Um, but I've got a dinner I gotta go to. So we're gonna end up taking off here um, in a minute, and then we'll come back. Malik's is gonna work through the night, but before we leave, I wanna make sure we get the seat put on the forklift. We should probably actually put that back plate in first, then we'll put the seat on, because this thing is, is almost done. Now, we had joked about having this uh, seat diamond stitched, and I don't think it should be so much of a joke anymore, considering how sick this thing's turning out with all the pin striping. So this thing might be coming back out and getting diamond stitched. I don't know. I don't know if we can really like make these contours. Maybe we can. All right. This thing's heavier than I remember. Zach, we need a new one. The unlock's faded. 42 nuts and bolts later. We'll get our back plate here. She's a little dusty. Definitely see a spot we missed right there, but good news is with this gray paint, everything's super easy to touch up, so we'll get that touched up at some point. All right, guys, hopefully we don't scratch nothing. You are really far off of the hole. All right, you go in the hall. So far, so good. All right, so I think to raise that, we gotta move that out of the way. Seats all the way forward. There we go. We now we got enough clearance. Stay. There we go. All right, now we can attach our hardware, which somehow I have managed to not lose. So they kind of made this a pain in the butt. Like you need to slide the seat backwards to be able to access the bolt there to tighten it down, but you can't raise the whole seat base if the seat's backwards. But somehow it's letting me tighten it down without the uh, bolt spinning up there, and it's not a carriage bolt. So we just won't ask questions if it works. Get our back hardware on, if we can reach it. All right, guys, we got us a seat installed. We're gonna use the old Renegade Mega Shine here to polish her back up, because she's been sitting in a dusty shop for a while, and she's just too dusty for our forklift. Oh yeah, we are looking good, guys. We are looking good. So there is a plate that goes right here. I'm assuming that was like your clipboard attachment plate. Um, it's over there, I'll show you guys in a second. It's pretty chewed up. I don't know if I really wanna put it back on. Um, so I might have somebody just cut me one out of metal, or we just leave it out. It's not that bad of looking, but I worry that people are going to drop stuff right there and chip and scratch the paint. Now, the other night I went ahead and did the torch trick on this old grayed out plastic to kind of bring it back to life a little bit. I know there's a lot of controversy around that as to whether it's temporary, permanent works, if it's bad for the plastic, whatever. On this thing, it doesn't really matter. And granted, there's a couple little things we need to do, like these levers all could use some paint, get everything all touched up. And then the mast is the next thing that we're gonna tackle. I wanted to get all this done first and we'll tape off everything because this mast is gonna be another bear of a problem with all the grease and crap that's on it. So this thing's gonna be a mess. I don't really wanna mess with that yet, but we're gonna end up redoing or repainting the entire mast as well. And for those of you that don't know what the torch trick is here on old grade plastics, again, I already did this last night so you might not see much of a difference, but you basically can torch it back to black. See what it does on a red thingy thing there. Okay, it just melts it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Wait, you guys can kind of, like I said, I already did this, so you're not really going to see much of a difference right now, but it does bring some life back into it. And again, everybody says it's temporary, but granted, this thing doesn't live outside, so it's not in the sun. Even on bumpers, you can do it, and it lasts longer than wiping it with the junk. Yeah, and I haven't seen anything you can wipe on a bumper. That wipe new or whatever. It, it works for like four hours. Yeah, exactly. Once it dries, it looks like crap. So this is better than I've ever seen any of that stuff do. First time I've ever done it. I wish we had a spot that I uh, haven't done it to yet. Zach, are you happy we finally got a seat in this thing, buddy? <laughs> We've been using it for what, a month without a seat? Yeah. Well, it's not a low rider anymore. So in the same way that he did the forklift, got the glue going down. And we just threw the glue over top of these ones? Yes. Nice. So he's gonna refurbish the original lettering that was there. 
Got the new lettering going in. Just like anything, it doesn't look like anything until you throw that outline on it. Then it's like, boom, comes to life. So what are they making this out of nowadays? Just like gold foil? Um, we're gonna use imitation. Okay. And then we clear with automotive clear. Gotcha. And last 10 times long. Bro, what is, what is this? This is the smallest one I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Little oh, she quit. Dang, son. It's just, <laughs> you say actual size or did you say Zach size? <laughs> actual size. It's even got its own little dedicated little mini hose. It's got a little whip on there. Oh, the whip. The whip. Cool whip. <laughs> so, of course, Jesse just can't put in a lift kit. He's got to upgrade everything yeah so what, what do we got there this is the full kryptonite death grip kit so as you can tell uh here's the stock stuff <laughs> it's a little bit of a size difference you know, there wimpy, wimpy wimpy and you gotta get the hefty hefty dude that thing's massive yeah and then uh here's the difference in the stock versus the kryptonite yeah instead of the tubular deal from factory it's got this big old beautiful thing that's Kryptonite cool. doesn't mess around. Yeah, it's got the sweet. Hold on, is this a non-powder coated piece? Well, so Jesse. It, it doesn't fit oh. in this truck. Gotcha. Be in there. So it basically goes on the two bolts for the idler and then welds to the frame, which I don't know how much this really helps on that side. Gotcha. If you're folding the frame there, you've got bigger issues. <laughs> Fair. But they're on... Um, these 2021s, the brake line runs right there. So it was either <laughs> tweak the brake line and yeah, I'm like, no, I just won't weld to this truck. There you go. Yeah. Hey, you probably appreciate that too. Yeah. Well, that and you know, Jesse, it's like I can, you weld it in, you can only paint one side of it. So it's eventually gonna rust and drip rust all over everything. Oh no, Jesse's not on board for that. Yeah, no, that was. A... So if anybody needs one or wants one for a GM, that's like a $70 plate right there. So hit up Jesse. There you go. I feel like it's about that time. I, don't, I didn't realize how dark it was until, until the light comes on. Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of wondering if you were ready for it or not. I like the I like the stick technique there. Yeah, gotcha. Otherwise, I put my paw on everything. <laughs> we're making some progress, guys. Look at that. All the gold leafing on the work for it's done. It's all turned. Getting the refurbish going on down there, and then we're we're gonna do a little number change on here because we're all 12 year old kids at heart. <laughs> So she's no longer gonna be engine one. She's gonna be engine 69. All right, y'all, we've made it back from dinner. Zach, great progress, buddy. I hate brake lines. <laughs> Let's see how the fire truck's looking. Malik hasn't froze to death yet. Oh, dang. Looking good, dude, looking good. Oh, yeah. Super clean. Definitely looks like they were done at the same time, which is exactly what we're going for. It looks so rad, yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Nah, nobody's gonna notice any differences. Yeah, that's perfect. Heck yeah, we got a fire department now. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, Malik's got about as far as he could tonight. I think it's, I don't even know, 10, 10 30. What time is it? It's late. It's, late. it's 11. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, clearly we just got back from dinner a minute ago. So we're gonna call it about here for the forklift, but this thing is turning out super sick. He's gonna work on a logo design to go on the seat base right there. So I'm excited to see what he comes up with, but absolutely love the silver leaf. The blue that he picked was super sick. The silver leaf, obviously on the Toyota, it's backwards because I'm on my phone because all my cameras are dying today. Um, looks super, super rad. And then of course the fire truck, um, he still needs to finish a little bit of touch up on some of the original black, but he got all the gold leafing done. Uh, minus our numbers right there. So we're gonna turn it from engine one into engine 69. So that'll be happening. So, I mean, it's exactly what we were looking for. Make this look as real as possible with the work for fire department, all the gold leafing, especially gonna match because he's redoing all the gold leafing. And then again, once he comes back, he's gonna touch up the black on the original stuff and then add our new numbers on there. A huge thank you to Malik for driving all the way down here. You know, he lives a couple hours away and it's very late at night. So he tried to knock out as much as he absolutely could today. And I appreciate that because I got a really late start this morning, had a bunch of stuff to do in the morning. Regardless, um, Zach, what, what, how many more hours are we gonna stay working? Oh, Zach's going home. All right. It's not my birthday. It's not your birthday? No. You gotta wait a whole nother year. <laughs> we gotta go party, dude. Uh, 
What's what's weird is like I'm gonna go change my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> like I just wanna go to bed right now, even though like it's my birthday. But if there was work to do here, like I would like we'd be totally jazzed. I mean, granted you got a lot of, you got a lot of work to do. If there was work that I should be involved in, I shouldn't be involved in that. That's all Zach's world right there. But if there was work I should be involved in, I'd totally be like, Yeah, man, we can go for another four hours. But being that it's like floor out of the car. No, nah, you need anything painted? I got you. <laughs> no. Dude, purple, we're going purple flake to VW. Let's just do it. We got, we got enough. So with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button now that you're not miss out on any future content. And don't forget to give this video a like and get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. We've been doing a ton of restocking over there, so make sure you guys go check it out because all the stuff that you've been wanting to get that has been out of stock is now back in stock because that's what restocking means. You guys are the best. Check that out. We get to keep that little art right there. Yeah, I'm out. Damn. Uh.